South and Vista, your Dade and Broward BMW centers. But well, we have something really special for you this Father's Day. A dad and daughter combo who took off on a great adventure. But before they could take on this journey, dad said, leave the gadgets at home. And this is how they were able to really connect. And the product was this, a book for all fathers and daughters out there. Joining me today are Jamie and Rick Goodman. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Jamie's journey travels with my dad first, dad. Tell me why you decided to take this journey with your daughter. Well, what I found out when my children came down to visit me, they would sit in their rooms and they would text and tweet and really not communicate. Sure. And as I traveled around the world, I asked other parents that were having the same experience. Mm -hmm. So I knew I needed to reconnect with my child. And the only way I could do that was by removing technology from the situation and bonding with her. And we took a, a trip for 24 days through Europe and the Middle East together with no cell phones, no technology, just the two of us. That's quite the feat because I know that a lot of teens enjoy spending lots of time with their friends, not so much with their parents. So were you a little skeptical about leaving all the gadgets behind and taking this journey with your dad? That was the biggest catch. It was like, oh, a trip to Europe, wait, <laughs> with your dad, wait, no technology. Wow. It was like the double scary thing. I was like, yeah. Maybe not, you know, but I knew I'd regret it if I didn't go, so I'm really glad I did. And I love just looking at the book, and you, you also mentioned something in here, too, which I really loved, it, uh, that this journey taught you some life lessons that you wouldn't learn in the classroom. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, the biggest thing that I learned was that you're never too old or young to reconnect, and I learned that mostly because I haven't lived with my dad in years you know when he moved to Florida I've been in St. Louis since I was four and he moved then so it's this was our way to reconnect and it was kind of the kind of the last mm -hmm. chance for us before I go to college and all of that sure. and so that was the biggest thing I learned is that you really you're never too young or too old and dad you're a motivational speaker you said yes and so you were planning on writing a book anyways I was planning on writing a book a dad's guide to traveling with a teenage daughter generation Y like why would you do it <laughs> and when I came back and we both wrote and we journaled and I looked at these the stuff that she wrote it was so amazing that I decided this is not my book it's Jamie's book Oh, I love it What's the one thing you know about your dad now that you didn't know before you took on this journey? I mean, I think one thing that I knew, but I really, really learned on the trip is that he never gives up. As I was saying, mm. even though he lived in a different state, he called us every single day to keep in touch. And this was my effort showing him that I was making the effort to reconnect. And dad, how about for you? Well, I learned that my daughter is such a giver. And in fact, when we traveled, she would invite people that we didn't even know, strangers in the book, to dinner with us. So we ended up having meals with stray people around the world and connecting <laughs> with them. And it's interesting because, Jamie, you're not so much of a person that wants to go out and talk to other people, right? Dad's more of that person? He makes me look like I'm not social, <laughs> but I am. He's you are just, social? He's okay. just everywhere. <laughs> Is it just because you probably just stay into your cell phone, so he's like, she's not social at all. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, but I mean, he's a, in his cell phone a lot, too, with work, mm -hmm. but I mean, mm -hmm. the ability to just put it aside made us both a little more social. Wonderful. And that's what we were asking people to do today, is really unplug from technology and reconnect with their parents, with their grandparents, and, and get to know them, because they're not going to be around forever. This is so true. Where can people get your book right now, Jamie's Journey Travels with My Dad? You can get it on Amazon any day um, and download it to your Kindle as well. Yeah. This is a great gift for a father as well, too. It's a great gift to be here on Father's Day celebrating this day with my daughter who's written a book with me, and it's just fabulous. And yesterday it was on Amazon Kindle, and, and it's just been really selling through the roof. Wow. It's a story that connects because people want to connect, and technology's overtaken our lives. It's so true, so true. So it's so, so important to do that, too. Right. Take away all the cell phones and all of that and just connect one on one with your loved ones. Exactly. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. You have a great daughter. Congratulations <laughs> on your graduation. You. Happy Father's Day Thank to you. Thank you so much. Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Erica Delgado, powered by Live from Alert. All right, 945 is the time. Dry conditions out here across Broward County, and that goes to Miami-Dade County. Radar picking up on a few showers here across the Middle Keys and Isla Morada, but that continues to move from east to west. We'll keep an eye on those systems as they continue to form.